Alright, this is me, I'm Casey Riddle, Carson Persign, and Brayden Hawkins Project. So, this is what we did for our medieval manor. We got the knight protecting everything on the outside from intruders that would come from this direction, most likely. Alright, then we got our stockades, a little more protection, just in case, just in case. We got our wall as another, you know, common defense around any city, really, or any village would need that. Alright, just as we come in on our left here, we have the blacksmith, with the blacksmith himself, actually, who, uh, this is his humble abode. Alright, just after that, to our right, we got the peasant cottage 1, peasant cottage 2, which also says peasant cottage 1 for some reason, but that's no big deal. Got our peasants, they have their jobs inside their house, leave them to that. We got the farm. This is where wheat, carrots, and other, like maybe potatoes or something like that would be grown. We got the farmer. He works there 24 7 for like his entire life, basically. Got the water source, which does lead into the farm, helps grow the crops. Got the windmill, maybe provide a little bit of extra power for the city. And then after that, we got the market. This is where people buy most of their stuff. We got the salesmen, I guess you could call them. We got the bakery, where stuff is baked into bread or other, I guess, food. And then, oh yeah, this is our barn, by the way, as our animals, which there was pigs in here, but they despawned. Okay, cool. Yeah, no. So this is our little barn. Keep some animals in there. Got the church just down the street. It's where people go to worship. We got a little bit of a design up there with our priest just sitting there. So he'd be high up in the ranks of the city of people. And then exclusively down the road, we have the Lord's Castle, which has like a watchtower right here just in case. Like usually someone would be up here, I guess, just to watch over, make sure nothing's happening, nothing too bad. All right. We got a community pool right here. Don't mind that loud noise, by the way. We got the breaking wheel. This is our torture device for the city, actually. So, that's where people would tie you up to the wheel and hit you with a hammer, basically, until you died, which is pretty terrible. Um, yeah, we got the Lord's little room right here. We got some panics on the wall. Let's actually go in there and look. Oh, gosh. Anyways, let's go in there and look. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on over here. There's a big old bed. Uh, hey, just look away from that. Don't even worry about that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically everything you need to know. It's basically our entire city. It's also, like, encased by walls, encased by walls, like, all around, which is obviously great. So, yeah, that's it. And we got our graveyard, actually. That's very important. Uh, the graveyard... Has you know some important deaths here. We got Steve. We got Candice. I mean, we always gotta love Candice. Uh, we got you know some other people. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's basically it. I mean, that is the village. This is our medieval manor. So. Yeah. Period. The end.